Greetings. It is a Wednesday and uh, it's kind of those last stages before a lot of the players get ready for the Pro-Am. So we're here on the range, going to take you on a little bit of a tour. Let's see what's happened. Well, first things first, there is Ian Poulter. Winner of the Houston Open, got him in the Masters. Going to be a lock on the Ryder Cup team and fantastic to see him playing well. That guy just has so much determination, it's phenomenal. Next to him, Alex Levy. France's proper hope for a Ryder Cup spot. Coached now by Pete Cowan. He's here with Poulter at the moment. So, twin responsibilities in this particular bay. And the sounds on the range are being provided by this man. <laughs> That's all. It's all good. You're in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Paolo. Paolo. What do we got playing there right now? Uh, funky music. Yeah? Yeah. It's a nice little vibe you're creating here. Yeah. <laughs> Marcel Sim, La Lamagna, 12 points. This man came from the Challenge Tour, Pepe Anglais from Spain. He's good. La Laqueta. Hey. Check it out, it's Tom Chai, Jai D. Proven winner. Knows how to get the job done. It's very... We want it. Hey. Hi mate, how are you? How's it going? Very good, thank you. You know what? what? You're just not good, enough, good looking enough. <laughs> he needs to work on his looks, doesn't he? Oh, he, he's ten years huh? You know he's a gay man, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Lee Slattery, proven winner. Good to see you, bud. Thank you too. Trying to help him as well. He is a lovely This is Matthias from Tylist. Richard Raymond, who is the uh, man from Down Under who manages the career of Rafa Cabrera Bello. It's all happening here on the range. <laughs> Let us see what else. Oh, look at this. Darren Reynolds. And a caddy football done. What a big career that guy has. Adrian, how good how are, you? are you at singing? Uh, well, I try my best. <laughs> Are you a trained singer? Because it's something I came across on social media. Is, nah, you know, your voice I, is quite impressive. It is very amazing, yeah? I was, I was particularly <laughs> taken by it. Yeah, so not only are you a very good golfer, and congrats on all that you're achieving at the moment, uh, but the singing, is that from your mom or your dad? Uh, well, my dad sang. My dad actually won a, like, um, a singing competition. But uh, Is that a fact? Yeah, it's, it's true, yeah. But, I mean, it was years ago, and... Uh, he just did it as, as, did, a, as a hobby as he well. He was an amateur, but he, he yeah, won yeah, a singing yeah. competition. Yeah, yeah, he did, right, a, so. he did actually. So what is your party piece then? You don't have to sing it now, but I'm just curious. Adrian Otaegi, is that the proper pronunciation? Uh, yeah, Otaegi. Yeah. Otaegi, okay. Um, I don't know, I like... Uh, if you were said, we need you to sing right now, what would you sing? I like uh, Estopa. Uh, yeah? It's a Spanish group. Okay, okay. Estopa. Um, yeah, Estopa, yeah. I'm not right. going to sing now. No, you don't have to. But I just want people <laughs> to be aware that you're a man of many talents. Good to so, see you. Yeah, thanks. Congrats. Thanks All right, who else have we got here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Dylan Fratelli. Locked in concentration. We respect that. He's in the zone. Yeah, me too. We're all here working on the range. 
This lady here is Emma Cabrera Bello. Hi. Hola, que tal? How are you? I'm good. <laughs> yes. Very talented, very range. talented right sister now. of Rafa, but uh, an L.E.T. professional golfer herself. Thank you very much. Played How for are you Spain doing? in the Nations Cup. I've seen you in action. Well, we've played together in amateur golf as well. All right, Here's who's this gentleman? <laughs> who's this guy? Andrea Romano. Ah, Andrea. One of the best amateurs Italy has ever produced as well. Ah, very good. Yeah. Thank you, Emma. Hi. So yeah. kind. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, hey, they're all they're all <laughs> gathering here on the range. And Stefano. Ciao, Ciao. Emma. How are you? Good vibe here in Italy. Ronan Flood. Hermitage Golf Club, Lucan, County Dublin. I think won a junior cup with stacks down back in the day. Is that right, Ronan? Yeah, that's right. There's his trusty boss there, Audric, working away, grinding it out. Showing a lot of calf there as well, Patrick. Yeah, Got a lot of strength in those legs. Not much of the music on the range. Not much committed to his fitness. Let's continue to the range and see who else we recognise. Oh yes, hardest working man on the range. Undoubtedly. This is Alex Norn. Yeah, striping, striping it. Nice play. Nice play. Lee Yeah, I'm going to hit. Yeah, he's going to yeah, be Miguel Angel Jimenez. Then you can ten. Yeah, of course. Looking good, Miguel. Hi there. You're looking good. Okay, we're going to stay here. All right, you got to respect the zone. These guys are working. They're working hard. Dodo Molinari. Very high hopes for this week. Small prize. Very good. Gotta love Dodo. The sweet swinging Frenchman. Raphael Jacqueline. How are you doing? Very good. How are you doing? I'm good. That was a, it's always nice to be in Italian. Yeah, it's beautiful here, isn't it? It is. Fantastic. Beautiful. I've played there for a long, long time ago. <laughs> Let's see that beautiful, sweet swing. French, so stylish. Oh, yeah. Hang time. Still up there. What are you hitting there? Six iron. Six iron. All right, how's the game? So so, but yeah, I feel good. So I yeah. played well. The uh, second round in went well. So yeah, let's keep that in mind. Yeah, hopes are high. Thank you. It's a big week. Best Thanks of luck. Thanks. Bon chance, mon ami. Bon chance. <laughs> Here's another buddy of mine, Nico. Hello, Shane. How's it going, bud? How's it going? Huh? Look at you. You came on camera now. Yeah, I know. I'm just doing a little bit of one-man band every now and again, just giving a flavour of the range. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Pretty good. You guys are working together a bit for quite some time now. We're probably one of the longest couples on tour now. Yeah? Yeah. You can't you see <laughs> on both our faces. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game still as strong and as long as ever? Yeah, good, yeah. We all we think we're due one. So it'd be nice to, to put it off in one of those yeah. big weeks. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have the talent. Certainly do. Just about being free in the brain. That's what I keep hearing this week. Yeah, you gotta if be you, free. Yeah, if, if you hear anything about it, I will, we'll take a few uh, <laughs> tips. Okay, right. I'll pass on whatever I glean from all of these superstars that populate the European tour. Anyway, that is it from the range. Sir, your name is Ozzy. Ozzy, Shane. Nice hey, to meet Shane. you. How are you doing? Pretty good. You think I look like Rory McIlroy? From a distance on a dark rainy night. Yeah. <laughs> I can hold a version of it. Uh, very much older. <laughs> I'm about 20 years older than that guy. So it's all very flattering. Yeah. What a beautiful spot, Nico. Are you playing today? Uh, I'm not, no. No? No, no we're here filming. So I'm, I'm really been. busy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you must have played there last week, no? 
No, I did not. So uh, what, they, don't, they don't give prime spots to uh, CNN people? What are they? Uh, they do on occasion. Yeah, on occasion, yeah. Abu Dhabi, really, of course. But you know, we'll, we'll revisit that next year. The, the BMW PGA could ha do with having a CNN person. Yeah, I program. think you. I think you'll be in the film next year. Actually, uh, this will go down well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, where, where are you living right now? I live in Monaco. Right? Oh, you do? I've been in Monaco two years. Yeah. How's that? It was good for Grand Prix last weekend. Yeah. Very noisy. It's quite an atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah, it's 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 quite good. I mean, it's one of those boxes you have to take. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's quite a it's quite a big gig. Yeah. Um, the atmosphere, the unique sort of element of racing through the streets, it's like, it's, it is something that you've never seen before in any other Grand Prix. It's, it's, it's quite funny. different, isn't it's it? It's kind of funny to, uh, to see those guys driving 150 miles an hour in streets you're using with your own car doing, yeah. you yeah. know, 40, 50. Yeah. Yeah. And you realize, uh, yeah, how hard these guys are pushing it, how close of the barrier they are, you know, to find the apexes and, and come out of turns, you know, pretty quickly on, on the yeah. exit is... Uh, it's, I mean, we all tend to think like, yeah, yeah, racing is racing, but when you realize from up close, it's, it's something pretty, pretty special. You know, funny, when I was just mentioning, talking to different players, you know, about this whole thing about being free in the, in the mind, because everyone's working on their technical aspects and grinding it out on the range, but you need to be free when you play. But I was talking to a psychologist who was working with an F1 driver, and the whole result of this work is that he feels free now. It's almost like everything's in slow motion, which yeah, is kind of yeah. hard to believe. Um, and he's from down under, he's doing quite well. But that was his whole takeaway from working with this particular person, was trying to free up the brain because I, I can't even fathom how they do what they do in F1 Grand Prix driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the ability to be able to make such incredibly quick decisions. Yeah, look at, uh, look at the way Verstappen came out in just before qualifying in last practice. I mean, he took a turn pretty quickly and then a, a, a car was going slowly not really in the in the trajectory, but you probably just lost maybe like what a quarter of a second of focus. The next thing you know, he's in the wall on the other side. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I mean, here we have a bit more time to think about what we need to do. But I mean, what these guys do is, like you yeah. said, the slow mo thing with these flows on the side would be something. And just on that note, just before we finish, like when you are kind of getting into the zone, you know, because you have to walk to your shots. Uh, your caddy obviously is getting all the information that you'll need when you get to the shop. But do you have a trigger? Do you have a all right, I it's am now working out. from, say, the minute I put my hand on the irons on the bag or something. But it's kind of funny because when you're in the zone, you hardly remember walking from the tee to your ball. I mean, it's when things don't really go your way or you're trying to find answers and stuff that when you have that 200, 300 yard walk to your, to, to your next shot, like there's all these thoughts coming in, yeah. which is basically pollution. But yeah. you know, when, you, when you play well, it's almost like you you're not so result orientated and you, you yeah you f yeah I mean, it's it's pretty strange i mean i'm sure a lot of guys have a hard time explaining what really being in the zone is like i mean everybody will have will use different words and yeah. different way to ex to explain it but, but when you when you're in there it's it's, it's kind af of afterward it's pretty cool because you don't you you, you realize like oh this was totally normal it, didn't it was really very easy though yeah, i'm yeah, sure yeah yeah, yeah it's frightening how easy sometimes it can be when you're in there but like it's a, it's almost an ecstatic experience in a, in a way because you're just or not yes, thinking about or, it or yes maybe. <laughs> perhaps perhaps though no no it is trust me it is trust me it is when you actually have it and you're doing it and you can see it you can trust it you feel it and you just do it yeah no it's, it's just supernatural you don't really have to think much you know, so these, that's part of the, the drug, answers isn't it? come to you naturally it's not yeah. like you have to look for answers yeah I think that's a, that's a nice way to put it yeah I like it Nico Colsar one of the good guys and I think that's a fitting way to end this particular segment from the range and uh, see you down the road yeah we'll do okay